bet you're here to learn how to make these corners on this quilt. So we have some tricks that we need to consider. Now, you see I have this big piece in front of me, right? You're gonna cut it to the directions, to what the instructions will tell you. And the problem that we encounter with this is see that this, this is gonna be one corner and that's gonna be the other corner. The problem is, red alert, this is all bias edge. Whoop, whoop, you gotta be careful with that. So what we're gonna do, the trick we're gonna do to make it work for us is we are just gonna cut this this size, and we're not gonna cut it apart until after we applique. Ha <laughs> ha, got it. Okay, so, so what you're gonna do then, oh, and let me tell you one more thing too about cutting. This is a big shape, and not we don't always have the rulers that will accommodate that shape. So let me show you here. What you can do is you can kind of butt up your rulers against each other. So I would have a mat underneath here, and when I'm ready to cut, I can put this other one on the end, to make sure that is also gonna line up straight. This lesson of Ruby's Garden Block of the Month is brought to you by Paintbrush Studios, fabrics for your masterpiece.